Hey everyone, Adam here with another Sim Hub tutorial. Uh, this is actually the third time I've posted this video. I'm not sure why, but every time I do this tutorial, uh, YouTube seems to want to take it down with no rhyme or reason. But we're going to try it again, this time with some music in the background, because I like to listen to some nice chill step chill wave i don't i don't know what genre this is um but uh yeah so let's go ahead and just dive right into sim hub and talk about what we're going to do today so today if you had a external display or a dashboard that you like to run windowed perhaps on a tablet um and you don't have leds but you want to be able to create some leds on that dashboard we're going to do that here in sim hub digitally so you can have it on a monitor a tablet a phone uh, an external display whatever it is you want so we're going to call this new dash digital leds and we want to delete all of that extra stuff and click ok all right so here we are brand new blank slate now we just want to add in some images so we're going to toggle this first image and let's hide the labels i don't like labels let's pick our image here common library leds you know you get four led sets by default but you can always import more images i couldn't think of a word there for a moment um you can always import any images you want you can make up your own in photoshop or microsoft paint uh, whatever you, you know suits you um there's there's quite a few in here to pick from i'm a big fan of just set one so what we need is we need this off uh, off image first okay so we got our first one here and now we want to copy it so we're just going to highlight it Control c and then Control v oops i added one too many so we're going to delete that last one there we go okay so now we want to select all of them to make sure they're all at the same height so we want to set the top positioning to be 10 pixels now we gotta go through and we gotta move every single one of these with the exception of the first one so that they kind of go across our display. So we're gonna go with image one and we're gonna go 10, 10, or I'm sorry, 110. Then for two, we're gonna go 220. This would be much easier if I had a 10 key on my keyboard, but I don't. Fifty, six sixty. We're getting there, folks. Seven seventy. Oops, not width. Eight eighty. And nine ninety. Okay, so we have two, four, six, eight, ten off LEDs. All right, let's highlight them all. Control G. To group them into a layer we're going to just call this layer off leds there we go now the off leds are going to be displayed at all times so we don't need to do anything here we just want to leave them on in fact if you know what we can do is we can grab this we can center it but before we center this on our dashboard we're going to add in our color leds so we're going to grab another image and we're going to go back to our common library set one and we are going to go with blue for the first uh, couple of LEDs here. So now with the blue LEDs, we want to set a display toggle. We don't want this to be on at all times. We only want this one to be on when the displayed RPM is 10%. Um, we could put in an actual value if we were setting this up for a specific car, but because we want this to be very universal, we are just going to have it set as a percentage of the RPM. So what we're just going to do is we're going to go visible binding, we're going to computed value, and then we're going to go RPM percent, car settings, current displayed RPM percent. That's all we want to do is we want to say equals 10. There we go. So now when your RPM hits 10%, regardless of what car or what sim you are in, that blue light's going to kick on. Okay, so now we're going to add a second one. Copy and paste. Now off image, no, on image one, we want to move this one over to 1010. Nope, it's not 1001. 110 and then we want this one to come on when it's 20 percent we're gonna 
copy it and paste it again. This one we're gonna move to 220. And we want this one to come on at 30 and so on and so forth. So, whoops. Now this one, so this is now, this is an interesting thing. Sometimes when you copy and paste in SimHub, it doesn't always keep the positioning. So you can see when I pasted this second version or third iteration of the blue LED, it moved the top positioning from 10 to 15. So we're gonna check that, we're gonna reset that. All right, so we've got three, we're gonna add a fourth blue one. And this one is gonna come on at 40% of our RPM, and we want this one to be positioned at 330. Okay, so there we go. So now we're gonna put these into a group, Control G, we're gonna call these blue LEDs. There we go. All right, so now we want to put in some more. We're going to do another image. And for this one, we want to go back to set one. We want to go to yellow. And we want to put this position at 550. Oh, you know what? I went one too far. 440. We want to cover this one. Now we want this one computed value again. We're going to open square brackets. RPM. I can't type today. RPM percent. And this one is going to be 40. Did I do that right? Did I remember right? 10, 20, 30, 40. Nope, this one's going to be 50. There we go. Okay, so now we'll copy this one. And we're going to put this one at 550. We're going to adjust this one to be 60%. And now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start shrinking that down. So we're going to do 50, 60, we'll do 70, 80, I don't know, maybe we'll do 60, did I do 60 for this one? I'm already losing track. Yep, 60. So for this next one, control C, control V. And you can see here it shifted it. So we're gonna go 10 and 660. And we're gonna split the difference. So instead of 60, we're gonna go 67.5. And then control C, control V, we're gonna do one more. 10, 770. And this one we're gonna do 75% of max RPM. And we're going to group all of these. Control G, yellow. Now let's bring in another image. And this one we want to set at 880. We want to pick our image from our common library. Set one, red. Now our last one we did 75%. This one we're going to do 85%. RPM percent, there we go, equals 85. Now we're gonna copy and paste one more. We're gonna adjust our positioning, 990. And then we want this one to come on, we're gonna say 90%, and you can adjust this. I'm gonna put a link uh, in the description below to a Google Drive where you can go ahead and download this. We're gonna highlight it. We're gonna rename our layer red LEDs. And then we're gonna grab all of these and we are gonna group them into just a master LED grouping. Now what we can do is we can grab this group and we can go ahead and center it. Well, for some reason it really threw it off center. Um, probably because I have something else selected down there below. And then we're gonna toggle the visibility of all of these as well, just so they're off by default. This step isn't necessary, but it's one that I like to do when I'm editing a dash. This way I can, I can see it. Let's try one more time to center it. There we go. 
Now let's move it down just a little bit. So there we go. So we've got very quickly 10 LEDs all good to go. And because they're using just a generic RPM percentage value, these LEDs should work for just about any sim out there uh, as long as the RPM is output in the telemetry and sim hub can pick that up. So there you go, quick and easy. Grab this uh, down in the description below, edit it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you found this useful, go ahead and please give that video a uh, thumbs up so I can connect more people with my Sim Hub tutorials. Uh, I've got uh, some stuff in the works, couple of dashboards I'm working on with some viewers that we're gonna make some videos for. Uh, hopefully have those up next week. Um, one of them is very cool. Uh, viewer sent me a dashboard that is, I, I absolutely love it. Like it's great. Um, but it needs a few tweaks and we're going to help them out with that. So until next time, thanks for uh, hanging out with me.